Hello guys, in this video we're going to talk about how to download your AWS CLI on Mac. So there's going to be two versions of this, there's going to be a version 1 and there's going to be a version 2 guide. So I'm going to leave this actual documentation right here for you guys in the comment section or in the description below so that you can actually go ahead and use it because there's going to be some code, in, code involved right here using Python and even your bash commands. So right here, you have your Python support matrix if you don't have. And before you install the version 1 on your Mac OS, you will supposed to be having Python 3.8 or later installed. So you have to download Python right here first. But let's get straight to the version 1. So the first one is going to be with the sudo command right here. Because the sudo command is going to be for your version 1. So this will be in any build of macOS, so it's going to be compatible. So you want to launch your own terminal right here, and then you want to give this command right here. So you have to be administrator, of course. And then you'll, you'll just have to use this if you're using the bundle installer right here. So I'm going to leave this in the comment section down below for you guys to see. And then for direct download links, you'll have to go to this website right here. And then for a specific version, if you're trying to find one uh, specific version that you're finding for, you will have to go to the second one. So next is right here. So this is going to be your bundled installer. First, you will have to unzip the package. And then next, you'll have to run the install program right here. So you're going to be using this sudo command too. So the by default, it's going to install the script system default. And then if you have the alternative version of Python, it's going to use that for the AWS CLI. And it's going to run the install script version by the absolute path to the Python executable. So next, you're going to get this, the version 1 without the sudo command. So if you don't have the sudo command and you're using another computer, you can use this. So if you're going to use the latest version, you want to use this command. Next, if you're using another version of your CLI or AWS CLI, and you're going to actually just drop in the actual version right here. If you're using a specific version that you want to use, you, should, you can do so to, so you can unbundle it from the zip. And then if you're trying to install AWS CLI from a version one to a current user, you can do so right here. So you're going to use the curl command basically for this. And then a specific version, it's going to do the same, but just a specific zip that you're going to use. So there's also direct links for every one of these. And you can extract them using this commands right here, as you can see. And you'll just have to basically follow all of this stuff because, of course, I'm not going to mention all the commands right here. So here you have bash and the zsh and the tcsh for your login, basically. You'll have to add these commands into your profile skip so that it will work in your local directories. So once AWS CLI is installed correctly, it's going to show this command. And if you get errors, you want to troubleshoot it for the AWS CLI, it's going to be linked right here. And there you go, that's how you install it for version 1. So there you go, that's how you install AWS CLI on Mac. There's going to be a version 2 here also that you can find um, in here. So if you have a version 2, you can do so. So right here, it's going to be in the top portion if you have a version 2, but this is for version 1. Basically, it's going to run the same and work the same.